Hey guys, welcome to part four. Here's another video of the Suzuki 50. I want to check out the compression. So basically it's stock compression right now. The only thing I've done was I removed one of the gaskets. The gasket is off. I used just some uh, like RTV as a gasket just to see how much compression I'll gain by that. And then we'll go back to stock with the gasket and see how much compression we gain. And then I want to take it uh, to a machine shop and I want to see how much compression it'll gain by removing 40 thousandths or a little more than 40 thousandths. I think we can take a little more than 40 thousandths. So basically that's one millimeter of removal of material. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Alright guys, let's see. Let's give it probably a consistent of six poles. This is a cold engine, so let's give it a try and see what happens. So we got about, let's say, 75, almost 80 really. So on six poles, we got 80 PSI. Now we installed the gasket. We're gonna put the head back on. We'll see how much it will gain from just adding that little gasket. It doesn't seem very thick, so might not gain anything. All right guys, this is with that gasket on. And let's give six poles. Look at that. We lost about five PSI, a little more, probably about seven PSI of compression. That gives me an idea that if we cut 40 thousandths, which is a mil, we should gain 30 PSI. I'm shooting for that. Let's hope so. I wanna hear this thing have a lot of compression. Get some nice, clean gas. Here we have the head. One millimeter has been removed, so we should gain some compression. So let's slap this thing back on without the gasket, and then we'll install the gasket. All right guys, so this is without the gasket, and it's 1.1 millimeters of removed material. So let's see how it does. Six poles. Looks like 100 PSI. So we gain uh, about 20 PSI. That's not too bad. Let's see how it does with the gasket. It's a machined head. So let's see how much loss we get. All right, six poles. Exactly five PSI. All right, that's good to know. So now let's see if we can start this thing and see how it runs. Here we have the hood from the Suzuki. So let's see how it looks. Should be new. Genuine Kawasaki part. Same as Suzuki. 
All right, guys. Let's see how it fits on. All right, guys. Let's go on a rip on this Suzuki. I guess it'd be nice to have the gas on. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see if it runs better. I was going down the hill on the back slope on the last, and now let's go uphill. There it is, guys. It's all around 20 miles an hour. And like I said, that was a pretty steep hill to climb. And I'm 190 pounds around that, about six foot tall. Can you imagine the picture driving by and seeing a big old guy driving this thing? Beyond the point. Anyways, this thing, it rips now. It's, it's unbelievable. I don't know how true these GPS things are, but this thing rips. I hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed your time watching these videos and watching me do all the modifications on the head, on the carburetor, drilling the holes in the intake, changing the spark plug to BPR5 spark plug instead of the BPR4. And uh, adjusted my tune, my jetting, my air, screw mixture it looks really good now had a clip of my daughter running this thing she enjoyed it it was actually her first time riding a motor motorcycle or a quad or whatever so she liked it and she keeps bothering me about it wants to ride ride it every time she can any chance she gets all right guys if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, before long, I'll have updates on the Banshee build. Um, I got in a lot of parts. And uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Stay tuned. This is our first time on the quad. On any quad. Six years old, right there.